Hi, this is Matt from tracyandmatt.co.uk and for unboxings.com here I have the Orange Vegas which uh, is actually made by ZTE uh, and is the X760 uh, ZTE model. Orange claim this to be the smallest and lightest touchscreen handset available in the UK so we're going to have a look at that in just a second. Just want to show you what else is in the box. Uh, it's obviously a fairly basic handset uh, designed to be uh, sort of entry level and it's a pay as you go and actually costs under £50 on pay as you go here in the UK. Uh, so we have a USB to mini USB sync charge cable, pretty ordinary stuff. We have a headset with a little giveaway ZTE label on it. And it is a USB or mini USB headset with an inline microphone again saying ZTE on it. With a push button, no volume control and some fairly basic headphones but you know they're okay. You also have a charger again with a mini USB connector and underneath the rest of that we have guarantee and a very small manual getting started guide. Uh, there is no CD so uh, there's no you know uh, equivalent of active sync. This is not a Windows mobile handset by the way but there's no equivalent for active sync. Uh, equivalent for Active Sync or Media Manager or anything like that. Uh, if you actually transfer music onto it, you do it via USB and it comes up as a uh, mass storage device. So the Orange Vegas looks a little similar to the HTC Touch, and if I put the HTC Touch beside it, you can obviously see there are some resemblances there. Um, some people actually were under the impression that the Vegas was made by HTC, obviously, it isn't. Um, but it isn't a Windows Mobile device either, so it is a little smaller than the HTC Touch, um, as you can see there, and it's about the same thickness, um, but it's a bit lighter, it weighs only around uh, 84 grams with the battery installed. So you just peel the front off there, give you a bit of view of the screen. No 3G, so we don't have any forward facing camera. But we do have a 2.4 inch display which is a course VGA, so 240 by 320. Underneath we have soft keys and phone keys and then a D-pad, which are uh, you know, pretty standard for a touch screen device. On the right hand side we have a button which is a dedicated camera button and then a flap over the mini USB connector, so that's for sync charge and headphones. Uh, nothing on the top, there is a couple of little rubber grommets on top so that it uh, sort of sits flush uh, and covers up the screw holes but there aren't buttons. Uh, you can connect a lanyard up the top here uh, and this little bit here is actually a loudspeaker, a very small uh, loudspeaker, um, not a button or anything. Uh, on the left hand side is just an up and down uh, rocker for the volume control and nothing we really speak of on the bottom apart from the microphone hole. On the back we have stylus which slides out. It's a telescopic stylus and has to be one of the smallest I've ever seen. It's absolutely tiny and very lightweight. Back cover pops off like so to reveal the battery. And the battery pops out of my hair. SIM card goes in here and then out in the micro SD card socket here. You're going to want to use that micro SD card socket almost certainly um, because in actual fact uh, the handset only has 64 meg of built-in memory so if you want to use it for an mp3 player or storing you know any photos you're going to want to use that memory card but it does support only up to 4 gig um, won't support anything larger than 4 gig according to spec the cover goes on like so and then we have I'm going to put the sides back in before we lose it then we have a camera on the back which is only 1.3 megapixels um, so, so not fantastic by any stretch of imagination do have a little mirror for self portrait spot there is no uh, flash um, and also it is fixed focus not autofocus so again fairly basic but then again we are looking at an entry level basic handset let's just turn on and I'm just waiting for that to start up, just go down the rest of the spec. Um, there is a built-in FM radio, we do have Bluetooth, but as I say there's no 3G, no Wi-Fi, uh, only 64 meg of built-in memory. Now the operating system is a custom Flash OS um, and is pretty basic. Uh, not really going to be able to show too well here just at the moment. I will do some screenshots when it comes to the full review 
Um, I'm obviously in somewhere a little bit bright just at the moment, but uh, if you can make out on there just that, that there is a uh, touch screen for calls, messages, contacts and call history. Uh, messages goes to text messages, photo messages, and then orange arts phone. And then you've got your inbox and outbox. And we go back to the home screen. And then you've got tabs along the bottom, which are very similar um, concepts to, say, touch flow, where you can swipe along the bottom and you get into the different things. You've got settings, file manager, connectivity, and organizer. Then you've got music, games, photos, and videos, orange world. And then you've got calls, messages, contacts, and call history. And then we have the back button, which takes us back to the main screen. Um, I will try and get some better screenshots for you when it comes to the full review. And the review will be online on tracymat.co.uk in the next couple of weeks. And finally, I should mention that uh, although obviously my uh, review handset is pink, that's all that was available at the time, the, the Orange Vegas is also available in black.